Oh, hey, kitty! Oh, God, it's a cat. Come here, cat. You got lots of good thoughts, I'm sure. Thinking about tuna and scratching the friggin' furniture. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last episode, we quelled the king of the sea, Poseidon himself, and garnered ourselves access to Piers' hometown of Lemuria, which is where we're going to be exploring today. And initially, it looks remarkably less uh, town-like and more cavern like interesting looking from the overworld it would seem that we were just moving into a town itself specifically and this looks like it could be interactable can we move it uh no can we pound it with sheba the fist kind of went right through it no i maybe that's some sort of object that's only be able to move by a synergy that we do not yet have so we'll have to keep an eye out and oh look at this it's a dock it looked very much like our ship. In fact, that's probably where it came from. We can, can, was there anything in here that we were missing? Why did the music change? See how it came into the ship and it, it turned into the overworld song. Fascinating. No, there's probably nothing in there. We've already explored it a few times before. And now we get to explore where we've never explored again before. And hold on. Uh, reveal. Any, anything in the pots? Nothing in the pots, really. An ancient civilization such as Lemurians assuredly would be utilizing things like pots for storage. Uh, a, a great test of entry. Move! What? That was synergy, wasn't it? Are they adepts? <laughs> you can only be an adept. You can only get in here if you can move this statue from a distance. Who are you? Are you the ones who defeated Poseidon? Yeah. Sure. That's quite something. Who are you that you could defeat the Leviathan? If you are strong enough to defeat Poseidon, you are too dangerous to enter Lemuria. The king's orders are clear. We cannot grant you entry. Uh, king, who's your king? Why don't we have Piers talk to them, Craden? Step back, man. Piers lives here. His Highness, King Hydros, of course. Um, no. His Majesty has ruled over Lemuria for centuries. King Hydros has decreed that Lemuria must be kept safe from dangerous outsiders. You say that we are dangerous, but do you include me as well? Oh, sorry, Piers, we didn't see you inside of him. So glad you slithered on out. Did you join them in battle against Poseidon? Yes, I did. Impossible, everyone knows you possess great courage, but you still are a mere Lemurian. Such comments do us all a great disservice. I battled fiercely alongside my friends. It's true. Leave our landing to me. You have my word that we shall create no problems during this stay. Will you not permit us to enter? Pierce, I know you are a man of your word, but the king's orders must stand. You understand that we cannot simply ignore the king's orders, don't you, Pierce? What is King Hydros doing? Sir, you people really take your king seriously, don't you? I mean... I guess that stands to reason. Most people, generally speaking, when they have kings, kind of tend to do the same, so maybe it's not all that outlandish. Insolent pup, do not dishonor the king of the Moria. We are peaceful, but quick to anger. Oh, pup, I must be twice your age. Who are you calling pup? You wish to see Lemuria, and yet you know so little of us. I am far older than you. Show respect. Ugh, older than me? Inconceivable. Uh, actually, Craden, these two are perhaps older than all of you combined. Bobby must have spoken of this to you, and Lemuria time passes quite slowly. Uh, well, I suppose I recall something of that sort or another. Maybe. But to imagine for a moment that these two gentlemen are older than I am, it's a bit much. Really, I mean, come on, but perhaps I was rude, and I hope you accept my apology. My ignorance misled me. Well, just so long as we're clear on that. But if your fighting is as skilled as your wordplay, then perhaps you aren't so dangerous to us. I agree. Perhaps His Majesty will provide an exception in their case. King Hydros might be willing to reverse his order if we confer with him, wouldn't he? Yes, yes, perhaps. We shall speak with him at once. King Hydros has been seeking news from beyond the Sea of Time. He will want to see you. Well, that's a stark change. From no, not a chance, to wait- yeah, no, he actually wants this specifically. Good point. The time means little to most Lemurians. Mere moments to us could seem like a lifetime to outsiders. You seem young to me, and yet you are probably an old man among your people. 
I would imagine that you have probably done enough waiting in your lifetime. King Hydros instructed us to be kind to the elderly at all times. They seem trustworthy enough. Shall we let them in? I can see no reason not to. None at all, even though we explicitly just gave reasons why we wouldn't want to. But, you know, we won't get in trouble, will we? I will be it with him. Now, please, let me walk the streets of my home once more. I beseech you. Oh, please. Street walking. Then we shall place our trust in each of you and you may enter. But don't do anything rash. If you cause any trouble, we'll hunt you down and execute swift and terrible vengeance. Do we have your word? I said no. <laughs> no, no, yeah, of course. Come on. Oh, oh, finally, what could be waiting for me in Lemuria? I can't wait another moment. Oh, hush, I'll keep a close eye on them. You have nothing to fear. Very well, Piers. We place our faith in you, then. Enter freely and peaceably. You must already be aware of this, but you are not permitted to enter the palace. If the king were to find out about this, we'd be in big trouble. Don't worry, I won't let that happen. Okay, so, uh, we go to the palace, or what? <laughs> Is this Hydros really so fearsome? Fearsome isn't the right word. King Hydros has lived longer than anyone. He is most wise. While everyone respects him and holds him in great reverence, it would be a mistake to call it fear. I certainly do not fear him. The king, uh, he... He what? Well... You'll understand once you meet the king yourself. But that does not matter now. Let's go. To Lemuria, the city you've all been longing to see. So, so we're going to meet the king or no? Because that would imply that we are headed to the castle where we were just uh, explicitly told to avoid. Eh, it's a little foggy here. Uh, we can go right. We can go only right. Okay, I can't imagine there'll be any random encounters or anything like that here. It is a, it's at a town after all, so... We can be free to explore. I cannot remember the last time we had visitors in Lemuria. Not in a great while, certainly. Okay. Look at this courtyard. Hey, this... This is reminiscent of the fountain in Tolby. Can we toss our coins in here? <gasps> Do you wish to test your luck at the Spring of Lemuria? Yes, 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 please. Move aside there, child. Oh my god, here it is. Yep, this is exactly the same as Tolby. Felix read the sign, the spring of Lemuria's face away and toss a coin to test your luck. Ha ha ha. Felix read the sign, the spring of Lemuria toss in a lucky medal to improve your luck. So, we can do a coin or a lucky medal. We want to get it in the center. So, hmm. Let's wait. I want to throw a lucky medal probably now. Oh, there's a little bit of a delay. That was not too bad. The third ring? At least it's in the circle. We should get something out of that, right? Uh, looks like a dress. A floral dress. Gave it to Shiba. He's like, hey, girl, this is your color. All right. We, the only thing that lucky medals are good for is literally this. So we going we gonna to do it. We're just going to keep putting them in there. Mm, that may have scroodled us. Yeah, yeah, that one nudge. We were going to go right in the center. But we've got three, two... And this is some sort of battle axe. A mighty axe. Sounds familiar. Have we already had a mighty axe thus far? Hmm. I'm not certain. Let's time this up in a way. Now that we know... Oh, that's going to hit the blue boy. Mmm, no. Oh, God, that was awful. Literally the worst thing you could have ever hoped. To, it's as far from the center as possible. We got... Water alive. I mean, I guess that's... Not completely useless. But... Definitely a far cry from armament, which is ordinarily what we'd be trying to get here. So, turtle boy, go. Be gone. Gosh darn it. Wait, that could be good. Yes, dead center. Heck yeah. So we get the penultimate prize. What is it? What do we get for our struggles? Uh, we got a summon. Oh. Well, that's unexpected. Thanks there, dude. What's the name of this summon? Eclipse. Hey, they summoned that in Texas about a month ago. Three Jupiter and two Mercury. Uh, so what if we get another lucky metal into the center? We've got eight. We've not used all that many. That looks good to me. Mm, it looked pretty solid and it's, it's pretty close. Unfortunately, it's still outer of the center uh, we in the second ring there, which gives us a sweet helmet. Minerva helm. 
All right, let's hold off for a second now and let's check out our items. Yeah, we're, well, we are running out of space, but we still do have four more slots. So let's let's throw some more. Why the heck not? And oh, I should have waited. I nope, that's exactly what I meant to do. And I would, I, yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Yep, mm -hmm, great. And now, since we got the centerpiece, which was the tablet the first time, now the second time we get an Aegis, Aegis shield. Perfect. If we could keep getting the center, we'd probably get better items altogether. So let's just get the center again. Oh, oh, you stupid crab. That was going to go somewhere better. Now we get, what, another water of life? Oh, no, 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 no. A crown of glory. Fascinating. I would have thought that the, uh, like, the consolation prize of getting it outside any of the rings entirely would be the same every time. Now we're bordering it, kind of. I guess we are on an exterior ring there. So maybe that's... No, that's a water alive. Okay. Hmm. So for whatever reason, we got that that helm last time. Very strange. We got four more medals. I think we have one more inventory space. Let's get in the center here. Come on. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, nope, not quite. But at least it is in the rings. It's on the third ring this time, which should give us another piece of equipment. Indeed it do. The Erebus armor. All right, now we are without inventory space. No, 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 no. Stay away from me. Now we are without... Him. No, we got one more. One more. Okay. Well, let's do that, and we'll come back because we'll have more coins to use. Boom. Centerpiece. Heck yeah. Three of these babies. Love to see it. Uh, well, undoubtedly, some of this equipment we're getting is going to be stronger than what we're wearing, so we'll equip it and sell the other stuff. The Hestia Blade. That sounds friggin' awesome. And then what, what do the coins do again? Uh, just to test your luck, huh? Let's see what a coin does. Toss a coin. Whee! We got a coin! A coin? You won a coin. Oh, it's straight up gambling. Okay, so toss a dollar. And if it's on the exterior ring, you get your money back. If it's all the way out, you get nothing, huh? Yeah, nothing at all. But, well, I'm curious here. Play, play in the slots. That's a dollar? Oh, you rip off? Oh, that's at least 50% on the inside. That should count as a dollar. I feel like these sea creatures got a little bit more aggressive now that we started throwing actual money. They're like, ah, <laughs> we gonna pay off some debt, Billy. Grab them coins. We got 10 coins back, so we've already made a profit, and this one's going dead center. So the penultimate prize, money-wise, is 20. And we have indeed made a profit because I think we threw like six and earned 30. Or 32, right? Because we got two singles. Perfect. Oh, wait, Craden, gosh darn, I'm trying to do inventory management here. Buddy? Oh, goodness. Oh, God, look at this place. Oh, my. It is beautiful, I will say. Felix, look over here. This palace is magnificent. But we gotta stay away from the palace, man. At least for now, we gotta go... No, stop that. Where are you going, Felix? Let's look around. You sick old man? Are you holding me hostage? You see what he's doing to me, pup? Fine, I'll do inventory management right here. Whatever. Uh, so what, what did we get? Who has the things? Sheba's got the floral dress, which is bad, though it does put enemies to sleep. It is useless. It's just as good as what Sheba or Jenna is wearing. But what is the power behind the fairy vex? Uh, restores 200 HP, otherwise we could use this dress to put enemies to sleep. We don't really use the dress all that often, so we'll keep what Jenna has presently. Beers has a handful of things. Minerva Helm raises PP. Pee -pee. That's pretty friggin' nice. Would lower Felix's attack, but raises defense by 18, and he does have the worst PP out of the bunch. Otherwise, Piers can hold on to it and raise his own PP by 15. So I guess counting the, the minus 10 for attack, it is a better benefit for Piers. So you go ahead and equip that, dude. Uh, there's also the Mighty Axe, which is a boost of 16 for Piers or a boost of 10 for Felix. I'm going to have you keep that then, Piers. And Aegis Shield, a boost of 22 defense, raises your evasiveness. Uh, it would ruin, holy cow, Felix's friggin' agility by gosh darn 20, 30 points, 40 points, nearly 39. Gross, get it away from me. You hold on to that, Piers, all right? Sheesh among us. Crown of Glory restores PP over time. Uh, anyone can wear it, perfect. Again, Felix's current hat situation raises his attack by 10, so I'm hesitant to get rid of it. But this could be good. This could be good, especially for Jenna. 
who is our healer, right? So let's trade for her current hat. What is her current hat? The pure circlets? Yeah, she doesn't use water power. Perfect. So it raised her defense, and while she's going to be our main healer for the group heal, she's going to restore her pee-pee. Look at this, man. Strategy. Erebus armor. Restores HP. Give that to Felix, yeah? Beautiful. A boost of six. Trade that for the Phantasmal. Use for some magical luck. I haven't... Wait a minute. What does that mean? What? What does that mean? It might break if used in battle. What? Weird. It won't let me use it out. I Whatever. We're just gonna... This is better anyways. And it restores HP. So, equip it, right? Did he did he get it? No, we gotta trade it. There we go. Yeah, trade and equip. Perfect. And then, peers, we have the Hestia Blade, and that is it. Hestia Blade would boost his attack by four, or it would boost Felix's by four friggin' teen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, would that be better here? No. The Lightning Sword is worse. Cool. Well, we're doing all right. Let's heal. I mean, we're in Lemuria, so I can't imagine we're in any danger, but, you know, in case this dog goes rabbit or something and bites me in the leg, I gotta be prepared to slap it. Couple of beautiful fountains, much uh, unlike the one below. This place is remarkable, truly remarkable. Uh, hey, who goes there? I have not seen you in Lemuria before. Wait a moment. Uh, hmm. Hmm. They smell of cabbages. You smell it. You may, must be the travelers who arrived with Piers. Is your name Felix, perchance? Uh, Piers? You mean Piers, the last one? Have I earned a title in my absence? Well, were we not, Piers is lost no more. Oh, God. <laughs> I seek counsel with King Hydros. Has His Highness been told of my return? Uh, word was said, but I do not know if it has reached the king. What do you mean? Lord Conservato is meeting with his highness as we speak. Not Conservato. What's wrong, Piers? You don't look pleased to hear that name. Craydon, what do you think of what you have seen of the Moria? Oh, goodness me. Well, it's it's got a lot of water, and, uh, you know, there's definitely at least, like, four people that live here. And, and there's also a dog. And this building. Yeah, we haven't seen a whole lot, but, you know, we found some weapons in the pond, which was pretty cool, too. Uh, but it's magnificent. And you, Felix, do you agree? Sure. It would be rude to say otherwise. Any newcomer to our town would doubtless feel the same at first. In ages past, Lemuria was a far lovelier, more grand, and more lively city. His Highness, the King, says something, but I skipped text dialogue. Over the countless years, our people have lost vigor, enthusiasm, creativity, and the sense of smell for all things besides cabbages. Lemuria has fallen into slow collapse, a city that has lost its spark. Lemuria, as you see it, is only a shadow of the city of legend. If only I had the chance to see the city in all its splendor, but how does Conservato figure in? King Hydros believes that our decay is related in some way to alchemy. Alchemy? Uh -huh. King Hydros wants to find a way to stop the ruin of Lemuria. If there is anything we could do to help stop it, we would. But the senators are unwilling to take action. They're stubborn and they fear change. Uh, Senate? What is a Senate? The Senate is the group of elders who determine policy in Lemuria. Lord Conservato holds the highest office in the Senate. The Senate usually opposes any new ideas or proposals introduced before it. Word of our arrival will never reach the King as long as Conservato has his ear. And his conversations with the King are incredibly long. We have no choice but to wait patiently here. Why don't we spend our time looking around Lemuria until then? Conser, Veto. I, I, I'm detecting some pretty funny, like, uh, parallels here in, in actuality. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's go down and create some more inventory space. Let's also mind read this pup, all right? I can't see a helpless canine and just quell my irresistible urge to infiltrate its thoughts. 
Uh, also, my irresistible urge to use the wrong synergy. It's fine. There's so much treasure buried here that you could dig almost anywhere and find something. So why doesn't anybody here dig? Oh, you... S well, I don't have any room, so I'm not going to dig just yet, but... We'll be back to dig after, of course, we find a shop. Is this a shop? This is not a shop. These are people. Do they have a shop in Lemuria? Because if not, that would be... Well, how do I put this? Downright inconvenient. This has got to be a temple, a healing place, yes? Mm, maybe not. I are the warriors from beyond the Sea of Time who returned with peers. What can you uncivilized louts hope to bring to Lemuria? How rude. Come what may, I cannot approve of anyone setting alchemy loose on the world. Is this the Senate? These are all the senators? It's, it's, it's tradition for them to all look the exact same. Maybe it's just one dude who was cloned a million times. No wonder they never get anything done. They all agree with each other. And they all say, Nay! Uh, that graveyard there looks curious. Is there something in the center there? No, interesting. A lot of times the center tombstone uh, will swap itself out and become a chest. When we cast reveal. Uh, hello, 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 hello. Oh, yes, I see that. We can go up there. We can also infiltrate the mind of this feeble chicken. What's going on behind those beady little eyes of you? Oh, gosh darn, I'm trying to do magic on your forehead. Come here. If it weren't for the people in the castle, the Lemorians would probably let themselves starve. And I notice we also have a uh, an avenue for growth here, but that's going to require some Ginny swappage. So grow that. Normally it grows up. Is this going to... It's going to grow down. Oh, how it do. Oh, how it do. And look at this. There's a cow. There's just animals everywhere. Ripe for the mind reading. Lemurians are so lazy that they make me look like a dynamo. And they live so long. None of the animals except for that pup had really anything interesting to say. Uh, what if we cast some cyclone here, huh? We can just pick their weeds. We're helpful visitors. Ah, uh, there was a hard nut. We can't friggin' grab. Um, what can we get rid of? Weasels. Well, is there anything we can consolidate, actually, before we try and do that? The potion, I think we can, right? Give that to Piers. Perfect. And does anyone else have any nuts? Yeah, Piers has... Piers got nuts. All right, oh, buddy, does Piers ever have nuts? He's got a baker's friggin' dozen. All right. Grab the hard nut, and... It boosts defense, correct? It does indeed. Who requires defense the most? Looks to me like Jenna is. Rub that nut on Jenna. Well, don't say that. Use the, use the hard nut on Jenna. Very respectfully. Yes, okay. Anyways, back this direction. Can we get down in any capacity? No, it seems that we probably have to reascend on that uh, the vine that we descended from. But we may as well blow these weeds as well and see if there's anything here. No. Lo and behold, there is not. And I still have yet to see a shop. Which is really, really problematic. Thankfully, however, we have unearthed a couple more item spaces. So let's... While I'm doing stuff here in my inventory, let's trade this back. We don't need growth. Uh, so I guess that's fine. Because we can go dig by that dog. But I really wanted to use all of my lucky metals while I was here. I think we still have, like, three more? We definitely don't have that many inventory spaces. So what is this? What was the purpose of coming up here? What? Reveal. Reveal to me the path up. Nothing? What? Hmm. Very strange. This looks like a door. But we cannot door it. And there's very clearly a door up there. It's open. Weird. Hmm. Maybe that's something for another time, perhaps. Keep that in mind. Uh, and... We... There was nothing else to explore down here, was there? Oh no, there is no shop action in friggin' Lemuria. How sick. Oh, hey, kitty! Oh god, it's a cat! Come here, cat. You got lots of good thoughts, I'm sure. Thinking about tuna and scratching the friggin' furniture, and pooping on the rug, and flipping your turds out of the litter box. I just love you. Come here, let me, let me talk about the... Oh god, whirlwind! No, don't, don't blow away the cat. The, blow away the cat turds. Can you stop meow maruffle? I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Jiminy Christmas. Alright, you know what? 
this is not uh, something that I ordinarily would ever want to do, but we're hot king mind read, so we can just use it right here. No one in the Moria feels any passion for anything. They're lazier than a cat in a sunbeam. Harsh words there, kitty. Did we go up there? We did go up there, because we looked down at the, the gravestones, which we can look at, I suppose, which... If there was anything to find, we would have seen it, right? It would have been sparkling when we cast Reveal. The Moria has no disease, no war. Anyone who saw it would think it's a paradise, and yet all who come to our city seek to leave. I, too, wish to leave. Then leave, lady. All right, well, really, really lame here. I want to get rid of crap, man. Uh, do you have any waters of life? I guess? I guess we could... We have two lucky metals. So let's use those, because we do have two inventory spaces. And once we use both those lucky metals, that will free up one inventory space in and of itself. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Okay, at least we're in the ring. Jiminy Christmas, I would have liked to have uh, had a little bit more success there than that. What is that? Some crafted gloves. Those don't sound anywhere near as cool as anything else. You got the Hestia Blade, the Thorned Crown. Some crafted gloves, I guess. I don't know. John and Holmac put them together. He's learning how to sew. It's fine. Just whatever. Wear them if you want. Yes, yes, yes! We get a... Finally, well, not finally, but we get to round things out with a bullseye. Perfect. Our last lucky medal is a good one, and it gets us another Aegis shield. We've got two. What? What? After all, your aura glows brightly, but who's talking to me? We got two of these shields? Well, agility. But agility. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Can he? Oh, I was going to say, can it stack? Can we just give it to Piers? No, no such luck. Uh, what about these gloves? Wow. The gloves raise attack, but they're worse in terms of defense than his speed and wind power boosting aerial gloves. Man, that agility. That agility, though. Someone else benefit from these? Wow. Jenna would get the most benefit, both defense and offense, so we'll do that. 309. Look at that. So attack three. Wow. Poor Sheba with 258 attack, 185 defense. She is uh, almost as useless as Craden. Oh, I'm just kidding. That's rude. No one's as useless as Craden and his decrepit old body. Craden just stands around and squeals about architecture and synergy. Not very helpful. What are you kids doing? It's been many years since a new child was born. The Morians love children, but they only remain children for such a short time. We are the only children in Lemoria. I have to wish there were other children to play with. You guys are circling in a way that I find shady. <laughs> Revealed to me. Nothing. Okay. I guess we should go back to the pup and dig. I guess. Wow. You've been getting hammered in here, buddy. Look at all these wine bottles. It's a party. Can I read your chicken's mind? Can I read? No. Whoops, I'm going to read your mind. I was, what is the word? Surprised when I heard Piers has returned. I drank all of his alcohol. I hope I get to see him soon. Are you the travelers that came with Piers? Yes. Look. I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to visit, Uncle. I see you've kept up your habits. Very good. Quite hydrating, I'm sure. Piers, you are alive. Yes, I've managed to survive against a great many trials. What a fascinating coincidence. We've stumbled across Pierce's uncle's house. Yes, a coincidence in a town with all of, like, four buildings. Oh, my God! Someone who's related to Pierce! Come on, Graydon. I thought you were a scholar. You sick, demented old man. I must thank you all for looking after my nephew. Sure. This is Felix and Graydon. They are my friends and have aided me tremendously. If my sister could only hear how timid young Piers has become a mighty warrior. Ho, 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 ho. Where, where is my mother? We've been so busy since we arrived that I haven't had a chance to see her. Uh, she's actually the one that drank all of these bottles of wine. She died. Now that I think about it, this place is a mess. What happened? Mother was always so neat. No, she hasn't fallen ill again, has she? There's still illness in Lemuria. 
My mother was born with a weak heart. Yes, I'm sorry, your return comes too late. Oh. After the tidal wave washed you, see, your mother suddenly fell ill. The shock of losing you was too great for her poor heart. She held out hope for your safe return until the very end. Perhaps your mother gave herself up to ensure your survival. Does that not sound like your mother? Where is she now? She rests in the cemetery now. Check the headstones. You will find her. Well, hot dog, we were just there. <laughs> what should we do, Felix? Should we? F yeah, of course we should go console him. He's our friend. Golly gee Willicker, we killed a Poseidon together. Can't get much closer to someone than that. Wait. I ask that you leave Piers to his morning for now. Now he is struggling with the loss of his mother. He needs time. You came to Lemuria to learn more of alchemy, did you not? I suspected as much Piers was right to bring you here. He has told me his secret, the mission he was given by his highness, the king. Even had the tidal wave not carried Piers off, he would have left us. Such was his fate. You look confused. Piers told you about this, did he not? No. Curious, I can't understand why he would do that. If Lord Conservato had not led the Senate to oppose him, he would have left sooner. I wonder what news Piers has brought with him. By the way, I do know why he has brought you here. Felix, don't tell me that he hasn't at least told you that much. I mean, he had, no, he's been relatively secretive. Did Piers tell you nothing before bringing you here to Lemuria? Unfortunately, I know little more than that. While Piers confronts his sorrow of the loss of his mother, you have some time. I shall write you a letter. So that you can see Lumpa. Lump has locked himself in his tower and rarely comes out, but if I send him this, he will see you. Is that the tower that we were just, like, climbing? The one we used Lash? <laughs> this poor old man is trying to stay away from people. We're like, hey, I'm gonna come up there. I'm climbing your tower. Hello. All I need is a bird to carry it to him in his tower. Well, that's a nice bird you got there. And out it goes. There, you should be able to see him now. Cool. Well, I guess we should go see Lumpa next time. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, well, then I'll see you then.